We've actually had um, full lectures on the cap out tunnel syndrome, but in this lecture, I'm just trying to put you guys through how possible ways, okay, possible ways that cap out tunnel syndrome um, can be twisted like. Okay, so just trying to look at possible ways in which exam questions on cap out tunnel can come through. And this was a past exam question. So the question we asked, and you were to answer it based on your knowledge of carpal tunnel syndrome. So they said that with respect to the anatomical basis of carpal tunnel syndrome, answer the following question. Which specific rigid anatomical structure forms the largest part of the floor of carpal tunnel? That's the first question. Second question. Which finger is never affected by carpal tunnel syndrome and why? Third question, which nerve is reputed to be spared in a carpal tunnel syndrome? Like, which nerve will not be affected in a carpal tunnel syndrome? Now, before I answer these questions, I will use this uh, picture to define what a carpal tunnel is before we even start answering any of those questions. This place right here that the median nerve has to pass is a tunnel. This tunnel is formed, is formed what? On the carpal bones. That's why they call it carpal tunnel. Now, anything could happen. It could be that what? You overwork to you overuse your wrist. So it could lead to compression of the median nerve. Or it could be that there was a trauma, a fracture, led to compression of median nerve. Now, when there is compression of median nerve, the side that the median nerve supplies will suffer. It will become numb and it will be so painful. Now, there's another nerve that is passing here, which is the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve supplies what? Half of the ring finger and the, and the ring finger. Uh, and the pinky finger, that's your little finger, right? So now, this part will not be affected because they are not supplied by the median nerve. I don't think, I, I think you guys have understood a bit. So now let's go answering the question. We'll be we, we going down, uh, going there to actually see what? Um, make references. So for the first question, which is what? Which rigid structure forms the largest part? The rigid structure that forms the largest part is the capitate bone. Looking at this tunnel, this is the tunnel that we're talking about, right? It's like a tunnel where trains pass, passageway. You see the median nerve here. Now they said that what? Which rigid structure? They are not asking for what? Muscle. They are saying rigid. That means what? Bony structure. Looking at this tunnel. This is the floor, right? Which structure forms the largest part of this tunnel? It's the capitates. All right? The capitates. Okay, no. No, that's not the capitates. Right? The capitates is too far away. Okay, wrist. Wrist right here. The capitates is too far away. Okay? So I think it was lunate, sorry. All right, this is lunate, right? This is lunate, sorry. This is lunate. It's lunate, not capitate bone. Can you see how you can reason these things logically? You are talking about this area of the wrist. So the bone closest to you is the bone that is here. That's lunate, right? Then going to the next question. What finger is not affected during a carpal tunnel syndrome? I've already explained that. In a carpal tunnel syndrome, the nerve that is affected is median nerve. The side that the median nerve is supplying will suffer the most. We also have the ulnar nerve. The side that the ulnar nerve is supplying will not suffer. All right? So which finger is not affected at all? It's only the pinky finger. Because the ring finger, half of it is affected. Because half of it is supplied by the median nerve. Okay? So what? The little finger, also known as the pinky finger, is not affected. Now why? The reason is that the little finger is inhabited by the ulnar nerve, which passes through a separate tunnel known as the Guyon's Canal. Use your atlas to look at the Guyon's Canal. Then, okay, okay, it does not pass through the carpal tunnel, but it passes through the wrist, the wrist, but under another canal. So if there's a carpal tunnel syndrome, the ulnar nerve will not be affected, so the pinky finger will still maintain complete innervation. The ring finger will, however, just maintain half, half, 
half. Okay, so that's it. Then going to the third question, which nerve is repeated to be spared? Of course, the ulnar nerve is passing, passing through a different canal, so the ulnar nerve is spared. All right. So, so that the ulnar nerve is not compressed in the carpal tunnel as it passes through a separate tunnel known as a Guyon's canal, which is located more medially towards the pinky side and is not affected by compression of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel. So that's beautiful. We broke everything down and we are able to answer what carpal tunnel syndrome examination questions. That's it. Bye for now.